So Alim Da. Here is a little bit from Devsic with some flight and goal. Starts with a full one. Gets away with it. I didn't know spinners are allowed to flight the ball in the first over. Oh yes, appreciable movement and movement off the blade as well. It's straight out of the fat for four. Lendl Simmons will appreciate this. Didn't have a great outing in the previous game. Gets off with a boundary. Another one of those little in swingers, but too full this time. Hits the gap, Lendl Simmons. It's too full. It's the wrong line. He's got mid wicket and long on out. If he attacks the stumps, he's probably only going to get punched for one. Oh, he gets away with this. There's Anton Devsic. Yeah, it comes with good numbers in terms of uh, wickets. The economy rate's pretty useful. And his uh, strike rate's good too, Anton Devsic. Akib Java, the coach. Watch for lie. Oh, caressed into the covers. Baz, where's the dive? Should have, because he came second in that Uber race. So if you're going to keep bowling that line, boys, do you need mid-wicket? You can have a long on and maybe a deep cover. Yeah, again, this time floored it up outside off stump and he leans into that. The outfield's quick. Brendan can't get there. Another boundary, so a bit of off-color start from Lahore. It's an action replay. We've had three boundaries to kick things off. 12 without loss. Delivery. Back live. Oh, you're kidding me. No. Shane Afridi's complaining about the loss, is he? Oh, youngster, you can't say that. You've got to gobble those in your sleep. What's going on here? It's all happened in slow motion. You said it, but it just went so slowly, almost hit him on the face. Oh, that was a dolly, to say the least. No, you're the king of them. I might have got that wrong. You took, guess how many games you took to take 50 wickets? 66. More? No, <laughs> 36. Because you were a beautiful outswing bowler, and that is a beautiful square drive to finish the fourth over, and it's 26 for one. Play that if you can. Previous one must have turned a foot. This one's turned off the blade rather sweetly from Lendl Simmons. Well, I said he had something to think about, and he did. He actually gave himself room outside leg stump, and the ball was moving into him. To turn as much, but that's clever batting, good execution. Yeah, gave himself a little bit of room. That hit me on the pad from there. Smashed it to the offside. Got himself back in. Oh, there's the one that goes the other way. And he just opens up the face. So it's not just all about power. Just a nice little jog. Just a little jog there. So I'll just to help the ball to the boundary. That's beautiful batting. Oh, Mr. Actor. Which movie? Oh dear, you got to go all the way, you've got to die, surely, Bazard Khan. What's going on here? Just a light little jog after. In Karachi, looking forward to meeting a few friends. Oh, how good is that? His balance is outstanding. He may not have the power hitting ability yet, Barbarazam, but when it comes to Positive and maintaining balance. He is a star batsman. Yeah, nice stroke. There's uh, often an area there. If you get that easy ball on the legs, Glenigan's got. Now, well, once again, the balance. Top shot from Barbarazza. He looks good. He plays regular shots. And well, his, his stocks are improving. 46 for one. April. Oh, wonderfully bowled. I don't think the bowler should be penalised for that. Well, he won't, but the side might. It's four buys. Brilliant delivery.
Yeah, it was too good, wasn't it? He came skipping down and brings up the 50 for the Kings and it's just done far too much, beating everybody. So it's nice to see him getting some turn. Oh, that's a good shot. That was a quicker delivery. Oh! <laughs> he did everything except stopping the ball. Very acrobatic stuff, sir. Take the Uber on. Well, you're there. Take him on. Yeah, that was a good shot. He just got the line. He knew straight away. That's outside of some spinning away. So it's the right shot. Just a deft touch. And does the rest. So he occasionally gets that line wrong. I remember last time he came to Australia, yes, here, Shah, he was sitting an onside strong field, bowling a line outside of stump. It was bizarre. It was Aga Salman with the acrobatics as well. Oh, how good is that? That's a great response from Lyndall Simmons. He was trying to locate Yasser Shah in the last over. Not anymore. Massive six. So typical this of Lendl Simmons. He's got wonderful feet which get him into the right place. Look at him. He's gone. Look at that shimmy. He's seven feet down the pitch there. And his balance is good. Balance is good. And that's why he's able to hit it so far. He's done that it. shot. And that's another four. It is great wing. Yasser Shah spinning the ball. And Lendl Simmons has decided to tee off. 66 for one. Loud out now, and at the moment, Winviz is saying 78%. The Kings. And into the eighth over, run rate 9.2. That's healthy. There's that pull shot. That's a blistering pull shot. That really is well played. Lyndon Simmons is red hot. Well. You can't bowl that to Lendl Simmons. He's from the Caribbean. It's, it's part of their DNA. You picture there that it, the eyes light up. And with the field he's got, he's got to be bowling a fuller length than that. I think he's got to be getting Lendl Simmons to come forward and play full book. Edge in! It goes between the two men. Keeper in the first slip. Oh, there that hand indication suggesting that it was the, the leg cutter from Afridi. It's 78 for one. To Gulrez, his keeper. Watch this, he pulls out of it. He's wide. I'm sure he'd like to have carried on, but he kind of turns in mid-flight. Yeah, well, he should be staggered behind him. Yeah. I think he was, mate. I, I, it was just... I like him as a player. He's uh, one of those that... Maybe not know much about him, but he comes out, he's a power hitter, so yes. this is the start. And it was uh, three fours in that opening oh. over, it just gets you off to a ripping start. And since then he's found a bit of touch, he's found a lot of courage too. That first ball of that Shah over beat him big time, and he still had the confidence, the last ball to... Uh, one heck of a talent in terms of uh, striking here is... Lendl Simmons, he's 55 from 38. Some lovely dabs, deft touch. A few of us here in the commentary box felt the stumping so it was on the line. Baz, you said no and called it correctly. It was not out. In how the Lahore Kalandas now play in this tournament. Change of pace and a brilliant catch. Mitch McLennigan takes a brilliant tumbling catch and the Kalundas needed that. Eat your heart out, Bezard Khan. There's the big Kiwi, Mitch McLennigan. And the other thing about it is Sahel Khan. He is bowled the least in terms of the slower balls. He loves it. He, 120 Ks, he's got the highest percentage of slower balls than any other bowler. And there's one that's paid off slower than 120 k's from Sahail. Court McLennigan bowls Sahail Khan. He goes for 55, does Lendl Simmons. It's 91 for two. I will like push from him.
Yeah, we've been raving about how good the catching has been in this year's HBL PSL, and so they've been few, they've been dropped. Sackbutter twice dropping the skipper, and then today. That should have been taken as well. Soil Khan missed it. Look at him muscle that down the ground. Don't bother. It was perfect. He just missed the stumps at the bowler's end and away it went. That's how strong he is. If he's going to bowl Yorkers, I reckon he needs a long off or a long on because your margin for error is so minimal. The first one was a good one. That's not far off a Yorker length. But he's so strong with his bottom hand, the bulldozer, Ingram. And you just got to keep him away, and maybe that's what Brendan McCullum's saying. But I'd be slotting up, maybe finally start to really try and lift things. Otherwise, it's totally up to the guy at the other end. Ingram's the man that can do that. Oh, it goes fine. That's uh, one way of doing it. A genuine edge, very effective. The value of wickets in hand, because then you can go absolutely berserk. Just clearing the front leg and taking chance through the offside. Thick edge and four. Don't disagree with what he's trying to do here, Shaina Freedy. He's got pace and he's trying for a bit of reverse, but he doesn't have the right feel for it. And for Baba, I'd do the opposite. I'd be forcing him to hit through the leg side. He's very, very strong through that point region on front or back foot. And so I like this. Around the wicket, cramp him for room. Yeah, in the middle, middle and leg. And does he beat the field? Oh, McCullum, he's gone over it. Bit of uh, bridge coverage there from McCullum. He was diving. And he's hurt his shoulder as well. So he, he jarred a finger earlier going for a catch of slip. And uh, he's just pinched that shoulder. And occasionally, in the worst scenario, you'll see a dislocation in that manner that's what Chris Lynn that's the problem he's got he keeps popping shoulders doing that sort of thing was what is required I think he'll be in he'll be in good shape train here this should be out the keepers called for it and uh, he did a little bit of circle work under it but steadied the eyes and it was an important wicket it needed to be taken there's that slow ball again from Sahal. It's been a very good dot ball or wicket type delivery for him. See how the back of the hand and it drops. So that's a, a hard percentage shot for Ingram. He was going to his favoured leg side. And in the end, it's had a really good catch in the end. He had to actually turn around 180 degrees to take that. Ingram not happy. He won't be finishing off the innings for the Karachi Kings. Big wicket for Lahore, Ingram out for 12, it's 120. So he's on strike, he's going to keep going, and that's well played. Has it gone all the way? Yes, it has. Got a serious piece of that one. No, he's a fine player, but he knows his areas. He's strong through that point bridge, and then Ramiz was talking about his, his creating hot zones. Well, I think that can be one of them. That backing away and hitting to his strength over point, you know, that's a remarkable shot to actually get the power to hit it for six just opening the face as well that's the key at times he reminds me of uh, Mahela Jayawad it is very similar when it comes to playing spin very wristy uses his feet a very skillful player Barbarazza he likes that delivery the slow ball and it has worked in his favor in this year's HBL PSL it's a different way to bowl a, a slow ball. The back of the hand, googly, I think he, he looks for. Yeah, well, here's another look at the sky ball from Ingram. And that was uh, the slow ball that has dropped on him, as Damien Fleming was talking about. But he's got a, a good rate of getting wickets on these slow balls for Flem. And I think uh, I've got an example of that in a second. But Nine. All of a sudden, it's, the chase is up to eight runs and over. Oh, he's played that nicely. He's hit the gap. Mind you, it was that low full toss that he could work with and place it exactly where he wanted to. It'd be good to see whether his back was turning in his hand or did he hit it with 
the full face of the blade or foolish yeah it just turned a little but he put it away into the gap he's a very strong finisher as well Ravi Bupara last year he played some scintillating knocks so watch out for Ravi Bupara in the last few balls there oh that'll do that'll do that'll do nicely for him so two in two balls and that helps this finish for the Karachi Kings they need to blast through that 160 barrier at least uh, must be very frustrating for the bowler because it wasn't such a bad ball targeting the stumps made room and edged it to the fence yeah it was intentional from Ravi Bopara and so it's probably trying to guard the long on long off fence and certainly Ravi him and she said she said went smiling should be straight to the man and he's taken so Barber goes with an over remaining slowing things down just slightly the slow ball works again for Sahail he's got plenty of wickets with it throughout this Pakistan Super League have a look again it dips at the last minute and Babar, you're talking before slats about you know, it's not providing a full face. It looked like it just moved in his hands again. That's a better swing. I like that one. You get a chance to do that next game, but it was a fine innings. 61 of 49 deliveries, and the Kings are 148 for four. The water situation. Oh, yeah! And, oh. and here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody say, well, well. <laughs> That's the kind of player he is. First ball in a massive six down the ground. It's boom boom time. And that's the length, 150 trucks got going. Boom boom's going. And Mickey Slater's going as well, going through the oh, repertoire. Yeah. Might have been a bit of an off cutter. What about just the flick? You talk about the power before. Yeah. He he doesn't. He generates so much through the ball. He plays a misses, so the next one will be a play and miss from the boom boom. And then he'll latch onto another one. Maybe not. So Afridi, young Afridi, born 2000. Afridi batting, debuted in 1996. <laughs> that is classic. Here we go. Where's Boom Boom taking this one? Oh, there you go. He's good for one six. And that's a brilliant comeback from the youngster. Middle pig out of the ground. I think he wanted to celebrate and then he saw Shahid Afridi and he, he wasn't sure really. I, I think out of sheer respect for Boom Boom, he abandoned the idea of a big leap up in the air. But what a delivery. I had Jack back, pegged the middle stump. Well, Mick, you said that the next one he'll miss. One sure is going to be on the stumps, the zing bars, and the poor ladies aren't happy. <laughs> They wanted to see Boo Boom hit again, but always exciting. He's been brilliant with the ball. We'll see that very soon. It's 155.